mail bag. This is a, another mail bag. I have no idea what I have, so we'll just find out when I open it. I got this from the package of network cables from the, this came from the um, SERP, the uh, junk store, the overstock store. I think it sells returns and stuff, but uh, I think it was $4 for three eight foot patch cords and they're white and they seem to have really nice I think there's a cat so made in the USA Optilink cat five so they're not cat six but I don't I don't really need that but I like that they were white they kind of blend in stuff easier and so I like these because they don't snag when you try to snake them or run them behind something or throw them underneath some legs or whatever. Let's put that down there. Oh, found another package on the floor. I wonder what this is. Package from Amazon. Uh, they had High Let Go which is a pretty popular rebrander on Amazon. Um, had a sale that I couldn't refuse. So I think this is, yeah, two, uh, two Note MCUs. I think I got them for nine something, $4 a piece, $5 a piece, $4.50, something like that. And they look uh, pretty good. They're the CP2102s, so the good ones. So I got those. This kind of got already opened. I don't know what happened to it. This is a taper gauge. It's just got, it's for measuring tapers or holes. Um, so, you know, you take, you take it, you put it in a hole. And it tells you what size that hole is. I thought it would be good for, you know, checking unknown holes and mostly for just measuring uh, distances between um, cases and gaps and stuff. And so I thought that was a little handy little tool. This says uh, 1206 SMD. Let's see if we can focus back in. LEDs. It looks like I accidentally ordered 1206 instead of 0805s. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Hmm. Well, that's weird. There's <laughs> there's a mixture in here. It looks like these are. White. Oh, why'd you gotta bend them like that? Come on, guys. Couldn't put them in a better bag. White, blue, Ugh. red. Red is not 1206. 
I don't know what these are. Those are white, red, blue, green, yellow. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe these are reds and they accidentally included, those look like uh, 0805s or 0603s. I'm not really sure what those are. I have to check. That's weird I got the wrong size in that pack. It's an assorted pack, so I'll have to look at the listing and see. what the deal is and test those LEDs and see what color they are. They look okay. Let's see what this is. Solder paste. It's not solder paste, it's flux paste. Uh, that's a big problem with eBay is things are labeled wrong. There's a lot of things labeled solder paste that are flux paste. Uh, RMA223. Uh, I think it's just a generic no name. But I saw a lot of listings for this and it was very popular and uh, I don't have any I only have a, a paste pen, a flux pen. I don't have any paste. And I've seen people use paste and seems to help out some some instances where you just can't get a good joint or if you're doing some really fine SMD. Pressure gauge. Uh, this is, I don't think this is electronic based. These are tiny. These are, must be wrong. 0 to 60, 0 to 4 bar, 1 eighth. Uh, I have a feeling these are. <laughs> I have a feeling I ordered the wrong thing. These are supposed to be for my pool, but these are tiny. So I might need an adapter for that. <laughs> They're so small. Hmm. All right. Well, let's put those away. Those aren't electronics related, but interesting nonetheless. They were fairly cheap. It was between get two of these or get an oil-filled one that'll last a, a while. But they only last a season anyway. They, they just die. They just burn out and with the chlorine water and I figured just buy two cheap ones and I have to probably replace it anyway so why buy a nice oil filled gauge um, I'll just put that over there this says I don't know I just ordered this a couple days ago I think I can't believe it came here so fast I think it's actually from the United States not from China and these are just like little, kind of remind me of film canisters. I don't really know what I'd use them for, but I just bought a bunch of different canisters, I think. These are cool because they don't open. You have to, you have to squeeze the sides. I've not, I've not seen that before, so it seemed pretty cool. Good for throwing parts in or storing stuff in. And they don't, well, I mean, they're not the not the greatest things I mean if you just squeeze them at all they pop open which might be kind of cool actually check this out you know if you're working on something you can you can do that one-handed that that is kind of cool I kind of like that if you got um, something you need to shake out or while you're doing something I don't know might be useful. Never saw them before, so I thought I'd try them out. Electronic component.
Here are some more connectors. I think I have every kind of connector now. These are so cheap though. They said they're rated at 300 volts, 20 amps. I don't, maybe. And they got really thick fronds on them. But I don't think these are the right, I don't think I made my holes right for these. These are not any, no, these are gonna be, I think these are gonna be like seven millimeter. Let's see if it's sitting on here. 7.62 spacing. So, kind of specific. Glue sticks. All right, last time I ordered black glue sticks, they were not black. And this time, yeah, I got black glue sticks. Big ones too, jeez. Um, never had black glue sticks. I figured they'd be good for blocking light or using them for sensors or whatever. Uh, this one says block connector cover. Ooh, that's heavy. Oh, these are neat. I think I've seen these on power supplies. I thought I'd get a couple of them. These are, whoa, look at those. Now that's what I would trust to 110 volts, uh, 120 AC or whatever. I mean, that is a connector. Look at that. It's got a safety cover. It's got massive spacing. I don't even know what that is, 10 millimeters. Let's see if it's a multiple of, no, it's not really a multiple. Hmm, that's a shame. But um, yeah, that's that's nice. I trust that. That says 300 volts, 30 amp. So I trust that more than I trust these. But and that's it. That's everything for for today. This thing's really cool. It's just a piece of steel. It's laser. Looks like it's laser etched or chemical etched. I can't tell. It's got the burnt edges like it's laser etched. And one side's got millimeters and the other side has got a taper gauge standard. One sixty five. Fourth. This must be the tip. That first line must be 164th. And this says uh, 0.1 15 millimeter. Or is that the divisions? No, that's not the divisions. That must be the first. Yeah, that must be the divisions. But here it's not. It says stainless. Uh, looks like it's just stamped. Hmm. Joint high intensity, good immersion, no poison or no erosion. Erosion may contain lead. I think they just put the same sticker on. <laughs> soldering paste. Not soldering paste, people. Come on. All right, that's that. Till next time.